Good evening, my name is Emmanuel Wachendo, and the question today is what does the World Trade Organization actually do? So the World Trade Organization or the WTO is designed to deliver better welfare outcomes by facilitating trade liberalization and presiding over a stable and predictable trade regime. This is accomplished by the administration of trade agreements, the convening of member parties for trade negotiations, trade dispute settlement, and related discussions, and all other activities that enhance the trade capacity of developing nations. And finally, interfacing with other critical international organizations where relevant and critical. What does all this mean? Well, in the post-war period, one of the points of consensus among members of the international community was that restricting the flow of the factors of production and goods and services across borders was actually a uh, cont uh, contributing factor to conflict. So that's the consensus that led to the e eventual birth of the World Trade Organization. It's the determination by these nations that, that trade is good for peace. And so the World Trade Organization can be thought of as a meeting place where those who represent the trade interests of nations can come and agree and try to lock in mechanisms for goods and services and factors of production to move across borders in, in more and more in increasingly unrestricted flows. Now, what comes with that? What comes with trying to allow goods and services to flow and the factors of production to flow? Disputes, right? States will be concerned that other states might renege on the deal, might defect on the agreement, right? To use that game theoretical term, that we agree to something and, uh, for example, one nation is actually generating barriers to trade. You know, this is very, very important to consider because first of all, a nation may already face the, the obstacle of trying to figure out whether its other comp uh, compatriots, the other states are actually following what they've agreed. And and then when they are able to actually collect information and present evidence that says uh, whether or not other states are uh, basically following what has been agreed, right? They're doing, uh, they're allowing goods and services to flow. Then they need to be able to actually impose some some kind of a a, a sanction to use that word a punishment. They need to be able to resolve the conflict, seek ways to, uh, okay, you know what? No, don't do this again. 